Hey everybody. Here is the Q Computer TV Box Custom TV Computer. It's actually in the floor, you can't really see the video. But this is a TV that is running on the Mitsubishi WD-57734 Rear Projection DLP Television. And recently, within the past month, I upgraded the TV box to be digital cable compliant. For like a half a year or so, we was having to use a Time Warner box to get HD TV on this television. But recently, with the upgrade of digital cable to the TV computers, we now get one as media center back on this TV. And um, set, getting the seat and cable car tender set up was pretty easy. I mean, there was a few things I had to uh, work around, a couple little flaws. It's set up as a network tuning device. It's actually in my computer in the bedroom. This computer down here does not have a TV tuner installed inside. It actually accesses the TV over the network, which is pretty neat how it works. This computer has, has access to two tuners. But um, in the past, what I've commonly done was my mom and dad use this primarily for their TV show recording. Like, for example, going to record TV here and I can show you where it's where I have scheduled recordings they don't have that many shows set to record series just yet but um, basically they record TV on the same and what I decided to do is, is like I was mentioning it used to be um, it was always they recorded their TV shows and stored them to this device and I record TV shows on my computer and stored it to his hard drive and I used to be able to access those shows from in here, no problem, over the network. But um, Time Warner Cable says no, you can't do that. And I'll explain why. They may not have intentionally meant to do it like this, but that's what they're doing. The reason is, nowadays with digital cable, cable card devices, they have all sorts of DRM protections built in. Like, it's very picky about how you, what kind of display you can use. Half the time when I turn this TV on, it will put up a false HDCP compliant display not found message on here. And I'll have to change the channel notes to make it start working again. And it's real crazy, like on my computer, it can't, um, it can't actually display TV on that monitor, on the right monitor, because it's a display port, not HDMI. Because Cable Labs is not certified display port yet for uh, digital content. So basically, um, I mean, digital content protection. So basically, you have all these protections built in. It's just aggravating. I mean, it's for example, it's called Microsoft Play Ready. It's a pain to install, and half the time, if you go to update it, it fails. So you have to reset your DRM, and it's all, all sorts of aggravating stuff. But it only gets worse from here. With Time Warner Cable, as I mentioned earlier, they don't want you to freely use your recorded TV shows. Yeah, you pay a pretty hefty bill. Like, let's say, um, just for cable service, digital cable, you're probably paying at least 40 to $60, plus the cost of equipment. And with, let's say, double, tri du um, triple play, you're paying at least a um, hundred something bucks. Like, my dad's bill right now for a triple play bundle was like $135 a month after all the equipment added on. It's just ridiculous. You pay this hefty bill, but they're going to lay down all of this protection stuff. And let me explain how this works. Basically, with, with cable car tuners, you have broadcast flags built in. Each channel has three options for copying. You have copy freely, copy once, or more or less one copy, or no copy. Let's say it's set to no copy. That means that if you try to copy the TV show, the file will self-destruct itself within 90 minutes. Copy once means that it will record to the computer. But oh, if you change out your motherboard or um, reimage your computer or want to play you know, files on, on another computer network, oh, forget about it. This is not going to happen. Now, of course, this set to copy freely, you ain't got much to worry about. This is like the old days of analog cable. Many providers out there for, let's say, Comcast is what I've heard. Um, maybe Fios. I think Verizon Fios is one. I'm not sure about AT&T Uverse. I'm not really sure about them, but Time Warner and I think Cox apply this copy once to every channel besides locals. 
And you probably don't reason the, probably the only reason they don't apply it to locals is because it would violate the FCC because the FCC actually has a rule saying they can't do that. Because um, of course it's local channels that get broadcasts over there for free. And it's it's what gets me. It's already encrypted to begin with. You have to have a cable card device to access it. I mean, you probably saw on my channel a video that I uploaded probably a month or so ago about Time Warner slowly taking away its analog service and going to this all digital that they had this little adapter for. Even though you're, let's say you have a clear key on device, you still have to have an adapter to use it, to, to view it. They're encrypting everything. And that should be enough to prevent unauthorized viewing of the content for those who don't pay their bills. But for the customers who pay their bills, the customers who have um, good records or bills are being paid, why do we have to deal with this? This, for example, let me go and show you exactly what I'm ranting about here. For example, I have Duck Dynasty and Lizard McTullin set to record series. So my DVR in there has plenty of these shows. Now one would think that recording those shows in there on that computer, I could sit back and relax in here in front of this nice 57 inch TV and watch them. But oh, Tom Warner says, uh-uh, not going to happen. You can't copy this. Sorry, too bad. And here's an example. Copy protected. Copy prohibited. The broadcaster prohibits this content from being copied. You can only play this content on the same computer which was recorded. So that means if you change out your motherboard or change out something else that requires your DRM to be reset, or a player already fails to update and reset your DRM, or in this case you want to um, watch the show you record on another computer in the house, forget about it. Time War says, no, it's not going to happen. Sorry, too bad. You pay us a hundred bucks a month, no, but still you're not going to watch this in this, in this room. Sorry, too bad. That's just what gets on nerves of Time War Cable. That's just another thing. And guess what we got in the mail today? Oh yeah, I've made videos about them wanting to um, sell the triple play, but hey, we got something new today. It's called the Extreme Triple Play. Wonderful. But yeah, um, so just, just let you know, with Time Warner Cable, um, if you want to actually use a good quality DVR, such as a TiVo or a Windows Media Center box, you're going to have a lot of trouble with them when it comes to recording your shows. I mean, if, like I say, if you have to reinstall Windows or re-image a backup image, any time those DRM keys get reset, all of those TV shows you record from last year or whatever are now useless. They're just taking up space in your hard drive. Just go ahead and delete them because you'll forget about watching them ever again. And uh, that pretty much the same applies to here. I can't even watch a show I recorded in another room in here. Oh, but Time Warner says, oh, just, just go ahead and buy our DVR service. That way you have whole house DVR. Maybe that's why they're doing this. They want everybody to buy their service. And I've heard bad things about their DVR. I've heard it has one of the worst graphical user interfaces in the world. I mean, it's absolutely terrible. This is probably another example of Time Warner trying to force everybody to use their stuff. And I mean, anytime you see this, like I said, literal McTone, you can't um, you can't watch that in another room. And um, it only gets worse from there. I told you about um, DVR recordings. I mentioned earlier about displays. And this is uh, this is display restriction applies to channels that are copy once or no copy. If it's copy freely, you shouldn't have nothing to worry about. Then again, I'm not sure. But this protection stuff, um, yeah. It's, it's very nerve-wracking. I'm, I'm telling you, this really, really gets my nerves. So while Windows Media Center is really wonderful, um, watching TV on this is very nice. Recording TV is very nice, but I'll forget about taking it to another computer. Uh, yeah, I just figured I'd just go ahead and let out some steam. So what do you think about Time Warner doing that? I mean. This copy once is really supposed to apply to the premium channels such as HBO and Showtime. And with pay-per-view, the copy never is what it actually applies to that. But Time Warner says, no, nah, we're lazy. We're going to apply this copy once to every channel besides locals. Isn't this wonderful? Anyways, and a question for comments.
Feel free to ask, but thanks for watching.